we are going to do question number 5 of exercise 14.6 which is practical geometry in this question we have to construct 60 degree 30 degree 120 degree 45 degree and 135 degree with using ruler and compass only no protector let's see how we can construct first of all we'll take a line have to draw a line for that we'll take a ruler okay so we'll just uh, place the ruler we need it to be straight here okay so now we are going to just draw the Now once we have drawn our straight line, let's name it. Yes, it's A B. Now to draw a 60 degree angle, we need a protector. Place the protector at one end of the line. Drag the pencil from the away from the needle, little bit that you are comfortable to make an arc there is no specific measurement that you have to measure okay so you can draw an arc which is going to cut this line at a point so you can make an arc let's make it okay after drawing the arc we have made this like a semicircle kind of a thing. Move the compass to the point where the it had cut the line at that point. Make an another arc. Okay. Make another arc which is going to cut this previous one. Right. Now wherever it is cutting the previous arc this point if you join a with this point and make a line over here this is going to be your 60 degree okay so with the ruler you can draw a line so from this point you can draw a straight line This is your 60 degree so we can mention it over here let's mention over here instead of mentioning in the center this is your 60 degree fine now how to make a 120 degree this is 160 that means if we make an arc from this point okay if you are making an arc from this point and wherever it is going to cut the circle, we are going to get 60 degree. Right? Let's draw. Now see, it has cut over here. Now if we are joined from here to here, so let's name it. Uh, let's give this uh, point as C, for example. Okay? And let me draw a line from A. Now this line is going to be 120. This angle, whole angle actually. So if I write it down, if I say as it as D point, so we can write it down over here that angle C A B is 60 degree. Okay angle D A B is 120 right you can even check it out with the 
protector. Let's place it. You can see here, it's 60 and here 120. Okay. Now we have to draw 30 degree. Do you notice anything? Half of 60 is 30, right? So if we bisect this 60 degree angle, if we can bisect this 60 degree angle, we can get 30 degree. So we have already learned how to bisect 30 degree. Let's do it again. So once we have drawn this and this arc is there already there, so we have to, to bisect 60 degree. These are the two points from where we are going to draw the arcs. So from here, let's move the pencil over the other side. Okay. Let's make an arc. Okay. Now place this one needle on the other side. Fine. And we'll draw the another arc, which is going to cut the previous one. Okay. We have got this mark over here, point here. Now when we join this point, this is a bisector of 60 degree. That means it is going to be 30 degree. Right? Bisecting means dividing into two equal parts. So let's draw the line from A again, which will cross these meeting points of the arc. Okay. So this is going to be your 30 degree. Fine. So normally we mark it over here. So let's uh, mark it in a different way and let's give first of all name to it. So let's, uh, this one is your E for example. Okay. So you are taking it E. So you can write it down. Angle E A B is your 30 degree right you got 30 degree you have got 60 degree you have drawn 120 degree from right that means we are done with uh, this we are done this also we are done this also we are done 